kitchen. Um, I told you before that um, we need to start every evening's cooking with the lemons. But what do you do if life doesn't hand you lemons? Uh, use cucumber. Not as nice as Sicilian lemons, but I've been away. Uh, so I haven't got any lemons in. Uh, and I've been away at the Romantic Novelist Association's uh, annual conference, which sounds as if it's something terribly dry and serious. It really isn't. Um, it's a chance where all us novelists get together uh, and we stay in universities, in flats, and we have our all single rooms and we have kitchen parties. And we do lots of work, obviously. We do lectures and we listen to people talk and um, sort of re-energise ourselves with our writing. And then we have meals together and we have a gala dinner. And then we have lots of kitchen parties where we sit around just like when we were students and um, drink gin in the kitchen. I've been away, and whilst I was away at the RNA conference in Lancaster, Lancaster University, we had Spanish chicken. Uh, and I thought, I haven't had this for ages. So that's what I'm going to cook for tea tonight, because I've got some chicken, I've got some half peppers in the fridge, I've got some tomatoes. So I've sort of looked up a recipe, but we're sort of going to make it up as well, because, um, hang on, Billy's trying to say something to me. He's making it. What is it, Bill? You talk about your book. Oh, yeah, I've got to talk about my book. That's what I've got to do. So, um, Spanish chicken also reminded me of my book, Sunset of the Cherry Orchard, which is set in Spain. Thanks, Bill. Glad you're here. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, so my book, Sunset of the Cherry Orchard, was set in Spain, and I went there with Katie Ford, and we had a fantastic research trip, stayed in a villa up in the mountains, and we had brilliant tapas, um, and that's what inspired Sunset of the Cherry Orchard, and that was a fantastic trip. Um, in this beautiful little hilltop town. Well, if you read it, you'll know. It was very much inspired, um, inspired the place in, in, in that book. And it's, um, hopefully, having this Spanish chicken tonight will take us back there. All my cookbooks, I can't actually find just a Spanish chicken recipe. And I found one online, and I'm gonna kind of do it and adapt it a bit. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it'll be nice. There'll be chicken, there'll be tomatoes, there'll be peppers. Okay, so now let's attend the dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna use a hairy biker's recipe, um, but uh, I'm just gonna mix it all up and see what happens. It'll be yummy, promise Bill, be yummy, be something. But let's start by, um, it's been a long day, I'm feeling very jaded. Let's start with a slug of this. And chopping some onions. We'll get some peppers out of the fridge, some tomatoes, get them in the oven, get them roasting, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, hey, chopped all the onions, peppers, potatoes, tomatoes, gonna drizzle it in some olive oil, salt and pepper, whack it in the oven at quite a high heat, and then I'll work out what to do next. I haven't got any chorizo and all the recipes say chorizo so I'm going to do a bit of bacon might put some chilli flakes in as well because uh, I haven't got any chorizo so I'll fry off this bacon first put it in the pan fry off the chicken some garlic and then combine them all and see what it tastes like Film. <laughs> so my sister, uh, his bedroom is just up here. So we just give a little. 
<laughs> and she should be down any minute. <laughs> But it wasn't what I was planning to cook. I was expecting to cook something in tomatoes with green olives and chicken. But it looks okay, so cheers.